Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, and today we're talking about the new Shrixon ZX Mark II Hybrid, and we have a special guest from Shrixon, it is Eddie Dry. He's been on the channel before, um, and he's joined us again today to give his insight on the ZX Mark II Hybrid. And so, Eddie, get us started here and talk about, I know we, we mentioned it with the drivers, we mentioned it with the fairways, but that rebound frame and its delivery explosive ball speeds, but how exactly is it doing that again here in the hybrid? We're, and we're really happy with that. We feel like that, we know this year we will sell that for someone coming in, just looking for a hybrid, I'm sure your fitters are going to show them two or three, and I believe they'll want this in the mix. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, when you sit it down and look at it, there won't be a better looking hybrid. It, you won't see the rebound frame, but the, the, the CG is deeper because it's not as big, but the, the shape is great. The look is great. The, the center of gravity is deep. It's easy to hit. It won't go left. Okay. And when you, when you hit it, you, it will be so easy to hit off the, the, the mats and, and whether it's a T or a not T and it's going to be in the mix. It's something you really need to see. Uh, we make it in a, a two, three, four, five, and six. So if you like hybrid, you can, you can get a three and a five. Right. If, you, if you're like you said, we make play, well, clubs for a lot of players. Uh, you want to you want to get it. You need one good hybrid. Get a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or four. It's twenty two degrees or twenty five degrees, and that works. But you also this six is great. If you can't hit a five iron, get this six hybrid. Maybe get a four or three to complement it, and away you right. go. Or if you you know if you want the two. You won't hit it off the tee. That's perfect. It's 17 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's a, uh, it's a heck of a good hybrid. And, and it's not just part of our line. I believe it's something that'll stand alone and something your fitters there at second swing will, will enjoy letting people try. Right. And I think that that's a really good kind of, uh, I guess, note that you made there is that uh, I think sometimes I think, and it's not just with Strixon or any particular brand, I think hybrids can kind of get lost sometimes in the shuffle of a, a new series of products, right? Uh, but I think I really like the look of these hybrids because it's got it's it's I think it's more compact. It's got a squared off toe a little bit, um, and it, it really has a pleasing look. I think that will uh, be appealing to any type of player, even those players that might be in the higher swing speeds or maybe um, better golfers, maybe scratch players that don't play a lot of hybrids, but they might look at this and say, wow, this is really appealing. I might think about putting this in the bag because of how uh, aesthetically pleasing it is. It's true. It's true. Uh, all the way up to our tour, our tour guys that hit hybrids like it a lot. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, we mentioned they hit fairway woods so far. Sometimes they're using more hybrids. Some of them are. And, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. this is, this is right in there. It, it's a great looking uh, three hybrid, for example. I mean, it, very right. good. And the other part too, I wanted to touch on is you mentioned having, well, there's, how many different lots, right? There's five different lots, two hybrid through six hybrid. You can pair that then with a Strixon ZX Fairway, for example. Let's say you have a three wood and you can drop in and have a four hybrid or a five hybrid, whatever might work for your gapping. But that's the nice thing about this kind of series is it can all work together seamlessly, driver down to hybrid, and you can have similar technologies providing you similar performance that you need. Well, it's interesting you say that because, you know, hybrids are, somewhere between according to whose vendor is an inch and a half, two inch shorter. So it won't go as far. But on the other hand, instead of getting a, your typical, if you carry a five hybrid, you might be able to hit a four or three, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to hit that boring shot that will not jump up and fly on you. And that's, you know, you're usually trying to hit it to a green or a certain spot with a hybrid. Right. Right. So, right. That's kind of the difference where that with a hybrid, you're probably more, the players are more looking to hit a number um versus maybe just trying to get it out there with a, with a distance right and so I, I imagine that's something we'll probably in our testing we'll be looking at too is how consistent it is with maybe hitting a number or hitting a distance or maybe hitting a spin rate um and i think yeah i can see with the shape of it there's definitely some um some parameters that have been built in to give it more consistency and kind of a workability type players type club maybe versus um uh, maybe that big like large uh, hybrid shape that almost looks like a fairy wood. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, you got, again, to fit, you'll be in there and you can fit, take your, uh, maybe be sure and take your uh, lowest iron in 
So mm -hmm. you can see how far it really goes. So for fitting, you may hit the five iron 175 yards. Well then, okay, what do you hit between 175 and 200? And that's where you start here. You know, mm -hmm. you may want to try to start with the four and see if you can hit it further than your five, or if it goes too far or too short, you can go down to the 19 or up to the 25 degree. Right. Uh, uh, that's uh, hybrids actually do a lot of good. They're not just a trouble club. They can, they can cover your gaps for you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And there's clearly the technology here within the Shrixon ZX Mark II to get all those things done, whether you need it off the tee, whether you need to do attack a green. So, uh, today we're gonna do some testing with it here at the tour van, but, um, we, Eddie, we do thank you for joining today and giving us your kind of insight uh, as someone, as a representative from Shrixon, uh, again, we're very excited about this and these will be in the fitting bays here uh, for golfers to try out in their fittings. And um, like you said, um, it's definitely one to make sure you get in the mix during your fittings. So Eddie, thank you for your time. Oh, thank you, Drew. All right, Mr. Geiger, we're back with Shrixon ZX Mark II Hybrid. And so we've done the drivers, we've done the fairways, pretty darn good results so far. Yep. So uh, obviously very excited about the hybrid now. Um, again, Shrixon is continuing to make their way up in the kind of marketplace mm -hmm. uh, with, you know, maybe the more, I guess, bigger name manufacturers out there uh, because they consistently produce great stuff. Uh, and they're also their staff, uh, tour staff is either winning majors or they're bringing on major champions. Uh, and I think because of those things, the brand, uh, recognition is just continuing to increase. I think maybe more than others. Yes, I think, you know, as we've touched on, Strixon is really knocking on the door of uh, really the elite level of, yeah. of golf equipment, I think. And one of the big, one of the big checkpoints, I think, for every kind of top level golf equipment manufacturer is kind of the diversity of choices they offer. Do they have a great hybrid? Do they have a great three wood? Do they have a great driver? Do they have a great iron? And so I'm really curious to see with this ZX Mark II hybrid, I've been impressed with the driver. I've been impressed mm -hmm. with the fairway wood. I'm really curious to see kind of how the hybrid delivers. Yeah. yeah. So you have it in your hand now. Put it down yeah. by the golf ball as a, at a dress, and then tell me what you see. Any visual cues? Anything that kind of triggers in your brain when you look down? Yeah, I see a lot that I like. I see just a simple matte black finish. Um, there's just one small little kind of alignment aid yeah. uh, graphic. It's it's very simple to look at. It's 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 frankly pretty gorgeous. I mm -hmm. think it, it sets up behind the ball very nicely. Um, I kind of like um, kind of a kind of a thinner, smaller profile. Sure. And I think while the kind of the fairway wood had that kind of larger kind of confidence inspiring mass, this one feels a little bit smaller, which, which okay. really, you know, really suits my eye. So um, yeah. I, I love the look of it. Yeah, the sleek shape is definitely something that I think Shrixon made sure to implement in the Mark II model Yep. Um, is is making sure that they, they work in and maintain the MOI and forgiveness, but they, they've done it in a kind of a shrinked size there, which mm -hmm. I think um, is remarkable to, to have that. Now, I guess we got to see how the testing does. That's, but, that's a big part. Um, so far, so good, I think, in terms of the aesthetics of that club, because there is maybe a, a sense of, in, in, in the past, uh, not necessarily saying Shrixon or Cleveland or anybody's done this, but there's I could understand if there's a, a manufacturer maybe that is a little bit, you know, not up there with the bigger names mm -hmm. and they, they're trying to get their, make their way up there and they maybe do so with some interesting, different, unique looks yeah. on the club and trying to go that route. They, they, they'd had none of that in this yes. one. It's classic. It's simple. It's, um, it, it, all it's going to do is produce for you. It's yeah. not going to visually disturb or distract or anything. Definitely. I think, you know, you, you really hit the nail on the head there. Strixon, one of the reasons their reputation is so good is that they've kind of worked their way up to the top without those gimmicks. They mm -hmm. haven't they haven't thrown out any any fluff. It's just good release after good yeah, release. Right. And uh, so far very impressed mm -hmm. with this one. All right, well, let's let's hit some shots here, Mr. Mr. It. Geiger, huh? All right. So, and we talked about this with both drivers in the fairways and we should mention it here, the type of player you are and what you expect yes. from a hybrid. So um, you spin the ball quite a bit, and you would be the player 
uh, generally looking to just take spin or I guess reduce your spin based on maybe what you're currently playing or yep. what you're used to. So um, you, what would you kind of want to see out of a three hybrid spin wise? So it's interesting. So this is a, a 19 degree three hybrid and I, I like hybrids. I previously mm -hmm. had a 19 degree hybrid in my bag from a different manufacturer and I could not stop hitting it left. Okay. And so that's always, for whatever reason, hybrids in me never, you know, it's kind of a, a love hate thing. Um, I love them. They hate me. Um, but I just, I can't stop hitting them left. And so a big thing for me is, can I hit the fade? Oh, so, that. So far, so good. So far, um, yeah. And really the height, you know, usually I'm attacking a green with this. I don't hit a lot of hybrid three irons off the tee. So for me, yeah. it's all about off the deck. Can I, okay. usually I'm going into a long yeah. par four or a par four. And I think that's where a hybrid is generally used among most golfers yep. is off, you know, in the rough and various lies, trying to make sure you hit solid contact, get right. the ball back, either back in play or kind of a near the green where you can, right. from there, get up and down or have a nice look at the at the hole. So yep. um, that's pretty good feedback there though. Cause I mean, I think there's a lot of elements where you kind of, your game is similar to a lot of players. And I also think there's those maybe higher level or, or higher speed players that can also relate to what you're, yeah. what you're gonna be testing here. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the same exact same distance one. twice in a row. It might be the same exact shot, actually. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, we got a couple shots in. Yep. Um, so we talked about the shape a little bit. Talk to me about that kind of a, a squared off toe. Is that something you like to see? Because that it's a little bit s squared, uh, maybe compared to the rounded look of a lot mm -hmm. of other hybrids. What do you think of that? I, I don't mind it. I think kind of combined with just just the black, uh, the black color, it kind of gives that kind of more compact feel yeah. to it, okay. um, which I like. Um, basically anything, one thing I have with hybrids is I don't like when they get too fairway woody yeah. size yeah. wise. So, okay. you know, the, the square toe looks, it looks good to my eye. Mm -hmm. Anything that kind of makes it more compact, yeah. um, is, it looks great mm -hmm. to me. Okay. That's interesting. It can go left. It can go left. Ooh. All right. So we've got five, I think five shots, three, four shots. Um, talk to me about the feel on that one. That's, that, was, that one, was that a little low face maybe? A little bit low. Okay. Yeah. That's actually one thing I wanted to touch on. The, both the drivers and the fairways were kind of that firmer, more solid feeling. Yeah. This, you can definitely tell it's kind of from the same family, yeah. but it's more of a, maybe a distant cousin. There's kind of a, yeah. maybe a softer feel. Okay. Um, still very solid. It's still, it feels powerful, but just a little bit more responsive, okay. which, which makes sense. I think a lot of people are going to be kind yeah. of looking for that little more feel, which I, I love. Yeah. So I think maybe I'll, I'll pose it a different way to you. Maybe, do you think compared to the fairways, if the fairways are maybe more game improvement or user friendly compared to the hybrid, which might be more players oriented. Yes. You think that's I, I think everything fair? from the kind of the feel to the, the kind of compact look to kind of the performance I've seen so far. Okay. This definitely feels more geared toward the lower mid okay. handicap players. Okay. Interesting. Wow. So that's, I think five. So, Michael, I wanted to touch on the carry distances. Yeah. So you've got the map up. You had the one that hooked left. Yep. And then you had kind of your, your high fades. But 229, 231, 229, 229, and then your low face was 218. Yep. Uh, consistency. Definitely. That's, that's a big thing, especially, you know, like I said, if I'm – using this into a par four or par five, I don't necessarily care about, my, my, my priority isn't hitting it super far. It's, yeah. it's, it's getting that right. dispersion. I'm trying to hit this pin high. I'm not necessarily yeah. trying to bomb it. Right. And so that is, that is a big check mark. Right. If you're, I guess the way, you know, we've used the, the phrase before on the, on the channel is the north and south dispersion yes. is more important than the east and west dispersion. Because again, if you're trying to attack a green with a hybrid, going 10, 15 yards too far could be trouble. Yes. Um, or same thing, any, you know, 10, 20 yards short could also be trouble. You know, you're in a hazard bunker, whatever. And so to see, A, you have 
three, well, four of the five are within two yards of each other, carry wise. Right. And then your your low face shot only lost ten yards, to eleven yards of, of carry distance in itself. Right. I mean, I think that's that's pretty good for I guess the five swings here. That's again, we have we can maybe hit a couple more, but I just want to point that out after five that we've seen consistency with the driver and the fairway, and I think it's not surprisingly showing up even at the hybrid here. Absolutely. There it is again. Yeah. That one went a little bit further actually. That spin, I think it was just a tad lower, maybe? Yes, but that one that one was hit pretty well. Okay. I mean, it's still, there's plenty of speed with this thing, and you're, it's very efficient, too. That smash has been up there in the one fours every time. Right. This will be a good mishit detector. See, that's, that's funny. Okay, so where, would, where was that miss? That felt very low on the low face. Low on the face? So what's interesting to me is, I think, yeah, it, that's the <laughs> fastest ball speed that you've had to. How about that? Um, that's, that's wild to me to see that because, and, and again, I think, you know, especially with hybrids and fairy woods, manufacturers are putting a lot more into improving performance on low face strikes. Yes. And now I don't think they're saying, well, we're going to increase your ball speed when you hit it low in the face. Which maybe, you know, this could have been a, a, a fluke or, you know, an anomaly in that sense. But to see the ball still go that far, I think is pretty darn good. Yes. For a low face strike and kind of you were a little uneasy about what was going to happen. Yeah, and it really, it checks out again with the fairway woods and the drivers. That's another thing that we kind of pointed out. The consistency, my miss tends to be that kind of lower on the face yeah. shot. And it was still from spin to distance was always right. within kind of the same right. window. Right, yeah. So I, you definitely, you lost some height there, which I think was resulting in the ball going a little further. Yep, um, for sure. So that's, in that sense, it's a concern, but also, I mean, you did miss, <laughs> miss hit it a little bit, so that's... Definitely. You're not gonna be totally rewarded um, by miss hitting it, but you're no. gonna, the, the miss is gonna be uh, negated a little bit, if you will. Exactly. Yep, that's kind of similar to what that's, we've seen for most of yep. the other ones. So the high fade works, I think we've, we've Confirm that yes um, for you here. The high fade works, and you're carrying it in that 225 to 230 range almost every time. Yep, it's pretty good. So, yes. talk to me now about. I mean, I guess give me a, a any other takeaway or kind of a uh, before we kind of go into the final thoughts. Any other hit points you want to hit on with this hybrid here? No, I think you know. Yeah, we'll we'll sort of touch on it later, but I think you kind of zero in on who's this for, and I think yeah. from just from the look to the performance to the feel. Um, while a lot of Strixon's uh, products are, are good for a wide range, I think this is, we're starting to kind of zero in on um, okay. a handicap range that's maybe yeah. a bit more specific than some yeah. other products. Okay. Yeah, I, I think just from what we talked about, about the, the look and you said what you said about the feel as well, yeah. being just a tad different um, yep. in the trend versus ferries and drivers, I think we can definitely make some conclusions there. But I think with that said, it's still, I mean, it performs really really well. You got plenty of height and to see that jump even on the low face strike I think is encouraging for players that might have that problem. Right. Or the ball maybe doesn't even get off the ground in those circumstances. I think that's encouraging and I think uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of promise for the uh, Mark II hybrid here. Absolutely. All right. Michael, thanks for the testing. Uh, we're complete with the hitting and the, I think like we kind of alluded to towards the mm -hmm. end of the testing portion, we have, we are able to draw some conclusions about uh, the best players for this hybrid. And so uh, talk to me about what you found throughout the feel, throughout the look, and then the testing itself. Yeah, so started with the look, kind of a bit more of a narrower, slightly more compact uh, profile. You mentioned mm -hmm. kind of that, there's a kind of squared off toe. Yeah. Um, but again, just a nice matte black, not a lot going on here. It's just a really good looking club. So that's mm -hmm. that's one thing to start with. In terms of feel, contrary to some of the other ZX Mark II products, the Ferry Woods and the Drivers, um, you can definitely tell it still feels very solid, but there's just a little bit more responsiveness, a little yeah. bit more feel, um, which I think will appeal to a lot of kind of the lower handicap players looking to kind of work it and, and yeah. feel a lot of that responsiveness. Mm -hmm. And then the performance, um, very consistent in yeah. terms of distance. That was probably the main thing. Yeah. Um, but also real, you know, spin. I was able to kind of hit that fade um, which I like to with a hybrid. Usually I struggle with that left shot. Um, so yeah, really across the board, pretty high marks for this mm -hmm. club. Yeah, and I think uh, we should 
like once again hit on that low face shot that still took off for you. Yes. Uh, and then I think you know, again we'll we'll emphasize that this club seems to be a little bit more players oriented in a way. I would agree. Um, but we still saw the forgiveness is in there. I guess aesthetically it becomes it, it's more players oriented, but. There is that deep center of gravity, uh, and there is the forgiveness and MOI in there to pr- supply the, the stability mm-hmm. you know, for the miss hits um, that a mid to high handicapper will still benefit from it. Absolutely, I think you know the hybrid, especially a lot of like low handicap players will really appreciate, like we said, the profile, um, the feel, but really, I mean, mid handicap players, the three iron is, is almost, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's becoming extinct. Right. Over, and, and this is the kind of club that mm-hmm. as people kind of continue to kind of um, migrate over to kind of the hybrid world, this is a real option for yeah. you, not just those low handicap players, the, the, but the mid handicap players mm-hmm. as well. Absolutely. Well, golfers, if you're interested in a Shrixon ZX Mark II hybrid, make sure you get fit at second swing, whether that's in store or online with one of our experts, we'll take care of you. Make sure your game is dialed in and that gap from your irons to your fairy woods is bridged correctly. So Michael, thank you for joining and testing and giving your feedback. Uh, Again, the Mark IIs are gonna be really good this year. I'm excited, thanks Drew.